Hello everybody, welcome to my first round playoff, round of 64 versus Diomed and his ridiculous Nurgle team. Um, <laughs> as you can see, he's got loads of claw mighty and stuff, and it's absolutely horrific. Um, I have got 13 players, um, including Setek. Uh, got a wizard and a bribe, so I gone exactly the 40k over, which is within the rules of the fair play, financial fair play. So yeah, it's going to be rough. Got Gorilla Mezzo doing the commentary, so enjoy his commentary while I, uh, while I, uh, you know, be quiet and enjoy losing. All right, hello everyone, Gorilla Mezzo in the house. There's two of me on this team. That's twice as much luck for Jim. I'm gonna wager. Uh, Jim is coming out of this one with a 2-1 victory, even though we all know exactly what my predictions mean for everyone involved. Sorry in advance, Jim. I'm sure we'll start hearing from you regularly right around turn four, turn five, after the first GG. Anyway, we're going in. I got to gotta type it in myself here. Maybe. There we go. And here we go. We have Jimmy Min Max Tastic himself against Diomed. Uh, <clears throat> massively outnumbered by TV and team quality, as we've already seen. But how does the coaching fare? That's the thing that. Whoa, I'm in the wrong game here. <laughs> I'm in Jimmy Dreambeard's game by accident. <laughs> that, we're off to a great start. Um. That was weird, because that team was called Weirwolves, and that was a former gym name. So, you know, awesome stuff. There we go. 85% effort. Jimmy's dream. I, I would have been, if they had been in setup, I probably would have gone for like two turns before noticing it. But it was midway through a turn. I was like, there's no way they got started that early. All right. Looks like Jimmy's setting up on defense. Didn't see if he won the toss or not. Um, but uh, I don't think, I don't know. Jim likes starting on defense, but probably not against Claw Palm. So I'm going to wager he didn't win the toss. Could be wrong, though. Yeah, exa exactly, Mord. <laughs> All right, I got my chat. Sorry, I didn't have chat up for a second there. VGP? Did you just call me VGP, Pedro Jack? What the absolute fuck? <laughs> VGP has been gone from Blood Bowl for years. I am Gorilla Mezzo, the voice of the JFW and Skirmetso's High Intensity Tournament. And I'm bringing it to Blood Bowl today for this round of 64 action. Jimmy down basically 500 TV against a kill Nurgle team with a bit of undead. <laughs> oh, we're getting dangerously close to the uh, vaunted all man's LOS. Will we see it? We got to just get that one guard beast man up there. Come on, Diamond. You can do it. All man's LOS. Let's see it. No, oh, so close. So close. Maybe he misclicked. Maybe he's one square away from it. Come on. Don't let us down. But they were absolutely rock hard today, and so was my cock. And uh, quick snap. Well, luckily for Jim, he didn't set up too close, so he's not getting a million blocks on him. But uh, now we have to sit through <laughs> more of this as maybe this uh, all man's LOS uh, peels off a little bit. Wow, Pedro. Wow. I will remember those words. If we ever make a wrestler of you, he will be shit. Not the good kind of shit. Like the bad kind of shit. 
And the turn for fuck's sake. And the so fucking of course, Dio, turn, a Russian man. coach. Uh, so we're going to call him Russian Dio because it's fun to say Dio. So Russian Dio here going to uh, probably open up with a lot of uh, two and three die blocks. Oh, he opens with the dub skulls. That's not nothing. Gets rid of the reroll on turn one right off the bat, but he's still probably going to kill this zombie. Doesn't even break armor. That already is basically a win for Jim. Unbelievable stuff. Not losing a player on the first block. That means he's got to wait for at least one more block before throwing out that GG. Uh, we have no proof that VGP wasn't Batman, so uh, following that logic, he must have been Batman. So yes, absolutely. The Doctor satisfying. Oh, yeah, valid, valid, Morden. But, but Wayne Fair can die on turn 16 just as well as he can die on turn 1. <laughs> Thanks, Yeti. <laughs> I've been living my life for 40 years with that tone, and I don't have many friends because of it. Oh, the break, but only a stun this time. No GG coming out from Jim yet. Uh, let's get our predictions. What turn are we getting our first GG? I'm going to go with turn six. Even though I said four earlier, I think I'm going to be a little bit more positive. I'm going to say turn six. Uh, we don't know. I, I assume it was not Jim because I doubt he would have picked defense against all that claw palm. He needs to save. He needs to save his GG equity, Tom Schniz. Yeah, turn four. I, I wanted to give Jim. I think I'm. I'm going into this the optimist. I did put it out there. I think Jim's gonna win this two one in regular time. But when he loses this mummy, I might change my mind. Oh, look at this. No reroll for that. Not that he would have greeted it. I, I well, you never know, I guess. But Russian Dio can't be too happy about this start thus far. Shedding a reroll, not getting anything off the pitch yet. He's still got one more block to go, and he's uh, really thinking about it. And he's given up a hit on a rotter. Jim's got to like that. Yeah, yeah, he already used the reroll, Tony. Oh, sorry. Yes, yeah, that's, that's what you were saying. <laughs> Tom. Oh, spoken like a man who's tossed out a lot of GGs in his day. And here comes this zombie hit. Can he go three for three? He does. Doesn't even break armor. Oh, wait. Forgot about piling on. Oh, look at that. Glory be. Now, does he want to try it? No, he can't really get a great foul yet. He does have a bribe. Doesn't have a dirty player, though. But Jim does have a bribe, and you got to believe it's only going towards uh, fouls. Well, I mean, it's only going towards fouls anyway. But he's probably going to – he's got that strength for Claw Palmer, tackle Claw Palmer uh, lined up for the foul whenever he can clear enough space to and get a nice gang foul. Fuck's sake. I don't think it'll be on and turn one. And the fucking turn, man! Where's Jim's DP? Oh, he's way back there. Oh, smart Jim. Oh, yeah, he yeah he knows. That's his key. For That's his key to equalizing. Tony. Okay, he does have. Stop a, being thank shit. you. Thank you for your eyes. Yeah, he can clear that beast off, but then he can still only get a a one assist foul in. I don't know if that's going to be good enough for Jim. I mean, a ten assist foul probably won't be good enough for Jim to not snake it, but still. Because I don't think Jim's going to want to base up to cancel that mighty blow claw to be able to foul from that square to get a two assist foul in. Yep. Russian Dio does have dirty player uh, and he has a bench of two. Wow, he's got a guard on the bench. That really shows you the class of his team right now. Uh, but he does not have a bribe, so he's got to be a little bit more careful about that. <laughs> yeah, Jay Five. Five. I thought it was turn three for a minute, and I was like, "Oh no, we had a quick snap." It's only turn one, and Jim hasn't even gone yet. Uh, 
Well, Jim's going to definitely take a three die on this rotter, I got to believe. But yeah, I don't think Jim's going to want to put his Palmer on the ground on the uh, right side of the pitch from his perspective right now, just because of that dirty player over there. Oh, he's got the pow here. Good call. Uh, who was that? Uh, fame, uh, yeah, Famir calling out, calling out the uh, block tar or the blitz target. Well done. And he's gonna base up the mighty blow. So now, well, I mean, it doesn't matter. You're already blitzed. Yep. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Yeah, not losing anyone off the pitch on turn one is a massive win for Jim. He's gonna play it pretty safe here. He's not gonna rush things. I bet neither of those. Uh, Neither of those zombies probably stands up right now. Oh, so he's going to only take a 2D with this mummy. And just a push. And he's going to completely separate here. And he's basically just backed his rule of fives up. And yeah, those zombies are probably staying right on the ground. And there it is, rolls over the turn. And like I said, you know, no damage for Jim, uh, no, but no damage taken by Jim either. Turn one, and then a reroll out of, of uh, Russian Dio's hands. I'm going to give turn one solidly to Jimmy Fantastic. Might as well concede now, Russian Dio. I hope he's actually Russian and not from another country that uses Cyrillic because I'll feel like kind of a prick. I'll just call him Dio 3, right? Because we've got two other Dios in front of him that we know. So we'll call him Dio 3. D3. Yeah, I think uh, I think that's where I'd be. Uh, yeah, I think so too, Bezel. I think so too, but you know. You know how I am. I want to be fair to everyone. <laughs> Which is the one where they fought Iceland. Or not fought, played Iceland. Is that two? Cyrillic Dino, <laughs> yeah. Is Dion Lord Italian? I actually thought two of them were Russian and then there was... Dionysian, who's the actual Dio in most people's books, I think. So he's taking the uh, Wrestle 2 die on the mummy here. Free hit on the mummy. The uh, Beast Stupid's very nice for Jim. Uh, so, but the question's going to be, is he going to try and hit both the mummies this turn? Maybe that's... No, he's not blitzing with the, with the Palmer. Interesting. Oh, he's just going to protect the Palmer this turn. Where's his Blitz coming from, then? Or did he waste it on the Beast? No, he didn't waste it on the Beast. He's going to he's gonna hit. Oh, okay, he's just going to claw Mighty with the uh, Nurgle Warrior over here. He is going to get a hit on both the Mummies. This could be a disastrous turn for Jim. You lose one Mummy, and it's, and it's you know, that's that against the team that outstrengths you. But, uh... You lose two. Oh boy. Here's the pow. Just a stun. You got to take that if you're Jim. It's not a strong point to be in, but uh, <laughs> it's a lot better than your mummy going off the pitch and ending the drive. Oh, does uh, does Diomed, does Dio, uh, D3 actually stream? I didn't know. And he looks like he's going to have to wrestle him down. Maybe he'll give him just the push. 
Oh, he's going to wrestle him down. All right, so Jim, turn two, still hasn't lost anyone off the pitch. That's incredible, but he's basically down two mummies for a turn. <laughs> uh j5 school of uh school of blood ball oh jim's gonna get stuck in over here i think he's gonna really take the fight in here comes that palm hit on the claw mighty he's got him but he's gonna have to go down right next to oh nope he's not even risking it smart move by jim there real smart move that mummy doesn't have stand firm so he wasn't gonna be able to protect the white from a dirty player foul there. Good restraint by Jim. Gets a stun. Probably would have liked more, but you can't really feel too bad about that. And he dodges out there and gets stunned for his trouble. Unfortunate. Would have been a nice nice way to get a, uh, a guy free of the those tentacles while they're down. But not going to happen. And he's going to lose that zombie for another turn anyway. It would have been madness for sure, Tom Schniz, but also, on the other hand, it's pile on. You always got to pile on. It is 21 minutes past noon where I am. That means I can finally crack a beer. We're good to go here. I'm not an alcoholic. I'm just drinking a beer on an afternoon. Beautiful fall afternoon. Summer fall, whatever you want to call it right now. It's like 60 degrees. That's American degrees, not European degrees. I don't know how many not degrees that is. <laughs> freedom units nothing free about america let me tell you all right so diamond's gonna um he's probably gonna consolidate those three on the left and, and in doing so now he's got to get his team you know he's he's a turn away from getting his team a little bit split up and having not removed anyone yet, that, that will be a little bit bad for him. Um, so he might back off, which could free up the stand firm mummy to at least stand up a little bit risk-free. But we'll see what he does here. Yeah, he is gonna. Oh no, he's gonna yeah, he's gonna try and bring everything in here. Hit this white, maybe. And now Jim's gonna be in a rough spot if this all goes to pop because his team's gonna be a little bit surrounded. No, he's going to hit set tech. Interesting. And set tech survives as well. Is he going to pile on? That's a risky... Oh, he does. <laughs> cannot help. D3 cannot help. The, uh, the non-pylon gets the KO for his trouble. But you have got to believe if he doesn't do something big to protect this, he's getting the boot this turn. He can just swing some guys over there to protect.
Oh, no, no, certainly not to Scotty. But, you know, while you're, uh, you know, I can't really work because of the pandemic right now. I'm a freelance photographer. So, you know, when you're not working, it's a weekday. It's a little uh, it's a little rough on the old psyche to start drinking before noon. <laughs> Yeah, Sludge. Hello, Fault Force. How you doing? Yeah, you're unbanned for now. Uh, Jim is down about 500 TV in his uh, round of 64 playoff game in CCL finals. Or, well, playoffs. Um, so not great, but he hasn't actually lost anyone other than Setek just now and only to a KO. Uh, so hopefully he doesn't get, you know, Jim KO'd and stay out for the rest of the game. But um, he's still in this. He is still in this. But at some point, once those dominoes fall, they all fall. Oh, the wizard comes out, and it's a mediocre one. It gets two out of four. Not the beast, unfortunately. But now he can base up the ball. I guess he's. Uh, I guess he's thinking he'll go for it here. It's a fair. It's a fair shake. He's got him. And now can he protect this ghoul? Oh, that ball, that's a nice scatter, too. Away from the team. Does he GFI here? Uh, that's a, I think you want to GFI here. I don't think I could help myself not GFIing here. I don't know what Jim's going to do, though. Uh, I'm a I'm a Sony guy, Badger. Actually, I shoot on a Sony A7R4, which is, in my opinion, the best camera on the planet right now for photography. I love it. I started on Canon though, and I swapped over when I went to mirrorless cameras. Yeah, I love him. I love him. <laughs> nice, nice P5. Canon Rebel T2i was my very first camera as an adult. Yeah, ADD is a great camera. ADD is a great camera. <laughs> I actually don't do a lot of weddings, Doctor Satisfying. So no, uh, I don't really like dealing with people uh, on the craziest day, the craziest and most stressful day of their lives. So I don't do a ton. I do some for like my friends and whatnot, but very rarely. Ah, uh, Lumix G7, fun. Yeah. That's great. That's great, Badger. You do mostly photography or videography too? <laughs> I have a problem with Michigan. I've, I've been to Michigan and it's been like 20 years. All right. So Jim on his wizard turn. He gets that foul in there for the stun. So now the ball is under heavy pressure. He's got one turn here to break away with it. What is Dio, Diomed, D3, Russian Dio, whatever we want to call him. What is he going to do to answer this? Because he's about to lose that ball uh, if he doesn't get some players over there. It should be about as easy as um, knocking down that mummy over on the right to get a few players up there, but he's not going to be able to get that ball off the ground, I don't think. <laughs> J5, what the fuck? <laughs> hey, I'll say this, though. University of Michigan, in my opinion, birthplace of Tom Brady, the greatest of all time. By birthplace, I mean the birthplace of his football career that was of relevance. Even though I went to a rival Big Ten school, I will forever thank the University of Michigan for putting him onto the New England Patriots eventually. I don't know who that imposter is, Tony. That's great. Oh, that's cool, Badger. Very cool. Got to get a nice uh, 
at minimum get a nice uh, 70 to 200 millimeter lens that'll uh, that'll be your first big investment if you don't have one already Oh, he doesn't get that mummy down. That's a pretty big move. Oh wait, I'm sorry. Oh, he wrestled. Oh, that was his wrestler. Sorry, I thought that came from uh, thought that came from the Pestigor there. So he does. He frees up two Pestigors with the wrestle. That'll help out quite a bit. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I don't, uh, I don't think Jarrett Stidham was going to be a, uh, a long-term starter on the team. I guess I haven't seen enough of them to really know. I'd love for it to have been a homegrown guy, but I love Cam Newton. I was pretty excited about Cam Newton coming to this team. You know, like he's got his faults as every quarterback that isn't Tom Brady has. So we'll have to wait and see, but, uh, I mostly, I think it's a health issue for him because he's been pretty hurt. If he's healthy, I think, uh, I don't think the Patriots could have done any better uh, <laughs> with what was on the what, with what was on offer. So I'm excited to see it. Sunday will be fun. I'm not super super committed to the NFL this year as I have been in previous years. But uh, oh, and there's the pickup. He fails it. Does he want a nine? He does not. So ball back in hand. <laughs> well, I don't know. The same result is a, a little bit, uh, a little bit. Con uh, I don't know where you're getting that from because the, the last season that Tom Pr Brady played before that, uh, <laughs> before that same result was an undefeated regular season and a Super Bowl berth that probably should have been a win. And uh, the following season with Castle was an 11 and five non-playoff berth. The only one that they hadn't made in Tom Brady's career other than 2002. So I wouldn't really equate those two things. But yes, yeah, so I'm pretty glad we have a good coach too. And it's not 20 years. Patriots didn't go in 2002. Patriots didn't go in 2008. So 12 years. Oh, yeah, yeah, certainly not. Certainly not. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that, that's all you need. That's all you need to start off with some sports. Sigma, or, uh, Badger. It's good stuff. I love Sigma lenses. No, oh, look at that. The first perm. First, or Kaz of the game, I should say. And it adds to Jimmy's roster. That means even once that bribe is gone, he can keep fouling. But can he get that ball away, or did he squander his wizard? I don't, I don't want to say squander, but uh, he'll certainly want to score off of using that wizard. Oh yeah, cer certainly new dad. I I'll say this though. I mean, the Patriots and even Tom Brady, the greatest of all time. Uh, have been held up by, um, you know, they've been propped up a little bit by their division for the last 20 years. It is a pretty pathetically bad division. Um, you know, there's been flashes from folks at times, but, uh, you know, <laughs> what are you going to, what are you going to, what are you going to say about the bills over the last 20 years or the jets over the last 20 years, other than the two years where they competed. So. <laughs> Delta cubes. J5. Speak in my secret language. All right. So Jimmy, I mean, he's got the one D on offer. One D wrestle ain't terrible, but he also has to dodge to do it. But then he's got that edge to pick it up. Can't score. So he's probably, he's probably contemplating what's best here. Lay on the pressure. 
because uh, now uh, Diomed is pretty spread out, which doesn't suit Nurgle all that well. How <laughs> dare I, I, I? I mean, not in the last 20 years they haven't been to Scotty. <laughs> Hello, Necro. It is Gorilla Mezzo here calling the shots. Well, Jim, uh, I won't say tryhards because he went into this pretty defeatist, but uh, it's our, you know, he's down almost 500 TV. Best to just let him play the game, let him focus on the game and see what comes of it and not have to also deal with. Uh, oh, did my. Uh, yeah, it looks like my replay froze. I don't know why that always happens to me. It doesn't seem to happen to anyone else. My replay froze, so if I'm not calling the shots right now, that's why. Um, so hopefully nothing too exciting has happened, because if I get to miss it, you have to miss it too. Ah, Jimmy failed a foul appearance. Oh, dear. No, oh, no, did I miss the GG? God damn it. All right, well, I don't really know what happened. <laughs> but it looks like, uh, yeah, it looks like the Edge 4 is off the pitch, KO'd now. So whatever happened, everyone saw it, and I didn't. No, oh, I missed the GG. What turn was it? Oh, turn five. He split the difference between four and six on me. Well, yeah, now it's possible. If Jim, you know, that that seems like a pretty... Um, pretty, uh, pretty early GG for him to call out, given how things have gone thus far. But here you go. He has no perms on him yet, and he gained a player. So, you know, he still still has the bodies, maybe not the team, and he certainly doesn't have the position now. Oh, that was on turn four. Oh, okay, fair enough. All right, well, everyone who called it, including myself originally before I changed my vote, GG turn four. Maybe he just did that because he heard us talking about it. Oh, God. Yeah, I guess seriously. GFI fail, foul appearance fail, block fail. Unbelievable. Espérons que Neffel va sourire à se lancer de Dick Bob. Yeah, yes, yes, Mama B. Yes, yes, very believable. Fair point. Well, Jim's only a six plus dodge away here from uh, with this mommy. Nope. Well, flip me, guys. Flip me. I think Jim's in trouble now. Oh, the dubs! The dubs on the Palmer. If he doesn't re-roll that, that Palmer's probably getting fouled. Yeah, he does re-roll it into a push. That's kind of weird, J5, because I had that exact same dream last night. Like, exact same. Ardvac and all. Oh, nice break there. Just a stun. Can he hit the ball here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not really. 
can get that mummy up. Too bad that mummy isn't stand firm. Hopefully he doesn't get it surfed. Probably pretty unlikely. Uh, but, you know, Diamond's only got three turns left to score, so he can't play around too much. He has to advance the ball. Oh, he's going for it, though. No, he fails the GFI. Rerolls in. Is he going to fail the next one, too? No, he's got the 2D just to push. Oh, that's really unfortunate. And now his, uh, oh, that's really unfortunate. Classic, classic Jim Blitz there. Has to use the reroll and still gets the pushes. Oh, nice red die, though. Very nice red die. Oh, and he gets the KO, too. He's got to like that. You know, Diamond here is going to struggle a little bit to score. It's not going to be... Uh, without some dice. Uh, you're not currently banned, Demi. Uh, Jim's probably too distracted and also not listening to chat, I assume, to uh, to care right now, so you're probably good to go. I don't have the power to ban you. I can just not read what you write, which is what most people should probably do. Just kidding. Where am I? Oof. Rough dodge there. Palmer gets stunned. Yeah, Tom Schnitz, you, you called it before the game. Jim squandering his GG equity. Dio's going to get the last laugh on the GG, I believe. The counter GG. So, the question that D3 has to solve here is how to advance, you know, at least into Jim's half and protect the ball. And then Jim's drive, I mean, assuming there's no further damage, which there probably will be, but Jim's drive is going to come down a little bit to KO rolls. Will he get those two players back that he desperately needs and will that beast stay out if he stays out jim's gonna be very happy No, I think it's a different die. It's Diamed, so it's D3, the Russian Dio. I don't know which die, which one of the three Dios you're talking about, Timmy. We're just going to see it. I mean, it's it's not even that, you know, it's only a half-baked potato in this case because uh, he can probably knock down this white. And then there's no real threat on the ball. Although the wrestler can get to him with a single dodge if Jim can uh, clear, a, just get a push on that. Uh, on uh, I oh, I can't read that <laughs> I, I can't read Cyrillic <laughs> um, number nine Pestigore over on the uh, sideline there. Ooh, that's very nice. Now that changes a little bit too. Because if he doesn't get this, oh he does. He does get him down, and he can follow here and trap him in a little bit. No, he doesn't trap him in. So Jim's just looking at some one and nines here. No matter which way you slice it. Because this Palmer can't block both of them off. And, uh, whoop, just a push. But now he can uh, now he can close down the uh, 
the root for the um, for the ghoul a little bit here. But he doesn't. So all Jim has to do is... Okay, now he does. That's better. Okay, <laughs> that's better. I forgot that guy hadn't activated yet. All right, so now Jim saves himself a dodge so he can red D with Wrestle on a 5-plus dodge, not against Tackle. He could make it a 1-die, but he'd have to make two more dodges. I don't think he's going to do that. He's thinking long and hard about how he wants to attack this this turn. He's either got a 3 plus, 3 plus, 2 plus, 2 plus to hit the ball 1D. Or he's going to, oh, he's going to blitz through the Palmer, it looks like. And he just gets the wrestle on him. And then he fails a dodge here, and he's out of rerolls. So, looks like uh, Di Diomed's going to be able to go down there and stall it out. And now the wizard's gone. Yeah, no kidding, Bezel. No kidding. Yeah, he can get the ball down there, and it can't be hit. So... This is going to be a one nothing uh, going into Jim's turn eight. I don't think there's a very realistic one term on the books for Jim. Doesn't have plus move anywhere. He can do it, but not likely. Possible Jim just goes for the damage. I think I, we've seen him do that with this team before. Yeah, those whites really let him down in the last two turns, failing their, their three-plus dodges consecutively. Could have maybe forced him to uh, have to score. <laughs> well, Pedro, the, <laughs> the concede here means he uh, saves face and builds for three seasons from now because if you can see in the playoffs you're gone for i think it's three seasons oh no one gorilla mezzo gone bye bye uh <laughs> dirty player again though no casualties all ko's right now that could come back to help jim get to overtime or it could just leave him without three players and disappointment <laughs> Hello, Satterfield. How we doing? Jim is ensconced in this 500 down TV game uh, in the round of 16. I am Gorilla Metzo, the voice of the JFW, and today subbing in for CCL playoff action. Uh, this is CCL playoffs, Pedro. It's a single elimination. All right, so now, yeah, Jim's just got to look for some attrition here. Maybe get one of these. Uh, nope. 
Get one of these nothings. Gosh, she's rolled so many pushes in the last couple days. I mean, last couple years, but really notably in the last couple days of Land Blood Bowl. There's the score. Doesn't even throw a block. So again, let's see how these KOs end up. A half against this team on defense. Oh, the, the beast staying out once. And all of Jim's no KOs wake up whatsoever on the first go. Jim will get another go at it, though. But uh, classic, absolutely classic KO rolling for a big game for Jim. Just, just the worst. So no one turn a a attempt here, I'm sure. Jim's just going to try and get uh, get a nice big hit. And there's a uh, security gate up, so no, no chance of a riot. Jim's just going to try and get some numbers here, I got to believe. He still has that bribe and not much else. So Diamed opting to keep the uh, the mighty blow Pestigore on the line in favor of that wrestle uh, uh, DP probably a pretty wise choice there. But let's see if he can get a Pestigore off the field. He'll feel pr pretty good about that, especially if that beast stays out again. Because um, now we're looking at now we're looking at eleven men no bench if the beast doesn't come back. So anything. Uh, Anything put in the cast box is going to stick, and that'll be numbers for Jim. Jim will um, definitely have 11 players. It's just a, a question of the quality of the players uh, for his drive to try and equalize. Well, he's got an extra reroll uh, for his uh, glory pass, I guess. And there's a KO. It's not nothing. And then just the stun there. That guy's probably getting the boot, though. And here comes a three die on the last one. See if this last mighty blow white can take another uh, rotter off the pitch. Oh, he does, and that one is going to stick as well. And now uh, Diomed is uh, basically a 50-50 away from being down on Jim's drive. That's got to feel pretty good. I don't think Jim bothers with the GFI here. Oh, maybe he does. He does have a reroll now, so I guess why not? So he's a uh, two-plus away from a nice... Gang foul on this mighty blow Pestigore. This could be uh, pretty nice. Don't fail these GFIs, Jim. You'll be very sad. And here comes the boot. <laughs> and it's a Jim foul. It's a mega Jim foul. <laughs> oh, boy. Classic. Jim. Classic Jim. Classic 
and both the Beast and the Rotter are back, and all three are back for Jim. So it is still a game, folks. He can get this to overtime. So it's 11 on 11. Jim's got his entire quality team as best he's got. That's weird. My screen's gone black. So is Jim's screen gone black. Uh, I don't know what's going on here, but... Oh, for it, fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah, this, Jim, it's happening to my replay, too. <laughs> classic. Absolutely oh, classic. Dear. I can well, hear we you people were... as well. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know why. It's not working for me. Rest escape a Let's lot. See. Uh, Ar I'm going to check Ar Artemis' stream. It looks like it's also black. <laughs> I, I think you got to just drop the game and restart it, Jim. <laughs> I've done that before and it's conceded for me, so I'm kind of scared. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, Blood Bowl is currently melting my computer for some reason. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh, power usage very high. Oh, let's turn you off. Yeah, good night, Blood Bowl. <laughs> Yeah, no, Art is, ha Art is having the same problem. <laughs> Blessing in disguise. Diamond Scream is black too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm, I'm going to reboot. <laughs> well, I'm not going to reboot. I, I, just, I just shut down Blood Bowl. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> We've got three people streaming it and they're all... Just go, oh, this isn't black anymore. <laughs> oh, if only this was like the World Cup Finals or something. <laughs> Everyone, sign up for Blood Bowl 3. It's a, a reskin of this perfectly programmed game. This isn't... <laughs> Diamond can see stuff now. Oh, it can? Hmm. Hey! Oh, did yours just come back on? Hey, wow. Hey, yeah. Did you lose time? No, you didn't even lose no, time on your setup. No, didn't lose time. Outrageous. All right. Well, I'm gonna restart my client because <laughs> I just all their control all deleted out. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jim, uh, halftime report: no permanent casualties, but but a whole lot of pushes and a uh, a beautifully perfect like by the book bribe fail. <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah, we'll get off, actually. All right, well, Jim's going to get off now, folks, so you might want to mute your headphones. Yeah, no, Mama B, I saw the beast wake up from its KO before the screen went black. I think he did use the bribe. Uh, uh, no, he definitely used the bribe. Uh, I think so. Oh, did he not? Oh, it looked like it. It looked like he hit it and then it reused it. But now maybe I'm remembering wrong. Uh, once I get my replay going, I can check his. He didn't use the bribe because he had loads of players, so he thought, uh, you know, he fouled with a rookie and didn't care if he got sent off. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Okay. Thank you, Jim. For some reason, the way it looked like the way it did it because you didn't select to use the bribe, it looked like he rolled another one and then used the bribe. But my bad. All right, nice deep kick for Jim. Let's see, can he get some early attrition on the LOS? Something that Diamond failed to do. Oop, there's a break. Just a break. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Mama Bosco. Yeah, exactly. But no, that is 100% the right call. Absolutely. I was just confused by what I saw graphically. And didn't really think too hard about it. Yeah, absolutely the right call to not use it there. No question. 
And there's a KO though. So now you know, every everyone going off the pitch cuz this this game is either ending with Jim losing right now or it's going overtime. <laughs> so uh Anyone going off the pitch right now is a massive boon to Jim just equalizing and then praying for the uh, for the coin flip, which he will in, in no chance in his life win. Yeah, fame here. He's got yeah, that's a that that's like a turn thirteen or fourteen when Jim's like got some dice rolls to save his own ass and then makes them. That's when he gets to bust that out when Jim's feeling slightly lucky and then he gets the dagger shoved in with the early GG. So I don't know how Diamond plans to play this. He's got the strength and the guard advantage. Oh no, he doesn't have the guard advantage. They're even. Three, four, to four, three. Oh no, yeah, it's uh, five to five to four, or five to three. I can't count. Who's that? That's a that's a router. Okay, yeah, yeah. So he we'll probably see some pretty heavy herp derping. Um, I mean, why else would you build this team and play this team the way it is? But uh, Jim uh, Jim handles herp derpings pretty well from time to time. It's usually when uh, he has to block and gets all those pushes that he gets. Um, the game starts falling apart on him a little bit. <laughs> oh, very nice. Be sitting out a turn. Still a little groggy from uh, getting KO'd last half. Maybe they should have run him through a more rigorous concussion protocol, but they chose not to. They put him out here. And then there you go, just sitting there in the middle of the field doing absolutely nothing but smelling bad. And once again, the break, the zombie not leaving the field. Jim is uh, skirting disaster with those KOs and those uh, stuns. Uh, hell of a lot better than uh, taking perms, though, taking Kaz's. Yeah, not much else for Diamond to do this turn. I don't think we'll see any uh, base, base. Well, maybe not. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't think we'll see a whole lot of base, base, basing right now. But here we go. I do like uh, Diamed staying pretty compact like this. You know, it's um, you know, it's an undead team that you're facing. There's some speed with the ghouls, but not much else. It's not like Jim's gonna break way downfield way early uh, on him. But and if he does, you know, it's uh, <laughs> it's probably going to overtime either way. So will Jim kind of take the path of least resistance? Wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. What do you guys think? You know, not having to get yourself into a protracted fight here. Uh, taking all that space and just moving down to score in turn 16, trying to not have to take more than one or two hits a turn. Looks like Jim's going to go for the fight. He is definitely going for the fight here. Uh, way better than expected, Ansi, but not great. He's down, you know, almost 500 TV. Uh, Wizard did not work out for him in the first half. Uh, and, uh, but again, if you can get an eye on his Kaz box, no casualties on, uh, position players. He's just got a rookie out from a foul. He does have a bribe in hand too. Yeah. I mean, that's why I'm here calling it and not Jim. He also feel the worst. I said, I ain't got shit to do. Why don't I call the game for you? So you don't have to. <laughs> be miserable trying to stream it and trying to play it. 
So uh, now here we go. Let's see this dirty player start flexing. That's one way to do it. And he doesn't even use the bribe. That is just glorious for Jim. And the 1D pow. Look at this, folks. Look at this. Of course, Jim cannot resurrect a second time there. He's already killed and resurrected once. Yeah, I mean, I, I think Jim's a, certainly a favorite to get into overtime at this point, new dad. Uh, but, you know, at some point, at some point, you've got to believe those claw mighties and that Palmer are going to get some massive players off the pitch. If one of these uh, mummies goes down, Jim's entire ability to fight goes away. He just can't hang with the strength and the guard spam. Hello, Rick Reckless. Welcome aboard. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, if he can just get, if he can get it to OT with a, a complete team or a, a, some semblance of a complete team, he's got a chance. I think I like whoever wins the toss in OT as you know, that's not a mind blowing logic there, but But he's certainly outcasting him. If this if if Jim were playing the Nurgle right now, he'd be very sad with the results, I believe. No, oh, I, 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 I predicted a two one win in regular time, Dr. Mama Bosco. That is the Gorilla Mezzo guarantee in which uh, that will definitely not happen. So we all we all know that Jim is not going to win the coin toss in OT. So let's keep our uh, our expectations managed just a little bit. Yeah, that was the big thing, Masters. And it was there was a scary moment in the first half, early in the first half, where they both got hit. Oh, God, my replay throws again. Where they both got hit, and there was a chance they could both go down, and they just didn't. And that might, I mean, that definitely saved the game for him. My replay is frozen again. I will be right back with you all momentarily. There we go. All right, both mummies getting hit again. Both of them getting knocked to the ground. One survived. Will the other... Oh, he's making us wait. That means his mummy is definitely going to die once he... Yep, here's the break. No, he hangs on. Just a stun. Sheesh. And another really stupid again. I'm going to have to lobby for, uh, for, for the Blood Bowl committees to uh, up their game with their... <laughs> With, with, with their concussion protocols, that beast should not be on the field right now. Uh, two turns in a row now after being knocked out in the first half. This is a sham, folks. Uh, you got to worry about the health and well-being of these players. Now, if I'm Jim here, I think I just run into that open space and stall out for as long as possible and don't stand those mummies up at all. Oh, Tom Schniz, ouch, ouch. Yeah, I mean, you know, they, they might be like weekend at Bernie'sing him through this half just to intimidate Jim, but uh, yeah, it looks like that might be what Jim's thinking here. Just move up onto this right side with all that space you've been given. Do not fight because you can get everyone away and just leave those mummies there, but because I don't think, I don't think, yeah, Andy lost his dirty player earlier. I don't think Diamond can afford to foul even on a mummy at this point.
Jim really thinking hard about this one. Finally, uh, yeah, he's going to advance nice and slow, it looks like. C'est une fragrance, rien à voir avec du parfum, Bob. Tu aimes Ça s'appelle Charogne numéro 5. Oh, he's not, he's not gonna advance, he's just gonna stay there. Interesting. Nice pal by the mummy. Doesn't get a break, though. <laughs> oh, Pixie. Uh, uh, surprised he didn't get banned by Jim looking down at Chandra right now. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that beast is going to go right in. That's I, 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 Maybe Jim doesn't mind that because he gets to hit him. But that whole team can come in. Now, now this is a turn where uh, you might see Diamond uh, herp derp a good amount. He's at least bringing that line of warriors. All four warriors stacked up on three players. And he only gets the push on that mummy again. These mummies have been saving Jim's bacon today. Oh, Tony. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, I, Gorilla Mezzo does not condone the uh, conversations being held in chat right now. Know that for when you watch the VOD angrily, Jim. <laughs> Jimmy Fantastic shit at this game. Oh, totally new, Dad. It's the worst feeling in the world when you're playing like against Lizards or against Nurgle, a team like that with some guard too, and you lose just one mummy early on in the game. It's just you might as well write the game off. It sucks. End the turn for fuck's sake! End the fucking turn, man! I hate that. I hate these pauses because I can't see what they're doing, and I just assume that my replay is frozen again. So I have to like watch Jim's stream. But, well, I guess he can't really see what uh, Diamond's doing either. But he can catch like a mongoose, though. He's really debating about where this blitz is going to come from and what to do, and. Uh... I think how heavy he wants to hit the the Venga bus over on the right there. Yeah, totally new dead. Oh, <laughs> once again, folks, I just need to implore the Blood Bowl community, Cyanide, and everyone to really, really uh, reconsider their current uh, laissez-faire stance on uh, on brain injuries and their concussion protocol because we have a player right now who is on this pitch and just shouldn't be no doctor on the planet outside of a football doctor would have agreed that happened to the Cyrillic Nurgle beast there would be on the pitch. Just, just very, very disgusting decisions uh, made in favor of sports action that I cannot condone. Yeah, yeah, those comparisons have been made already, Ansi. <laughs> well, um, interesting, interesting here, because now this Nurgle team is going to they they've kind of split themselves in half here, and all of their strength is lined up relatively. Um, uselessly on the left here. Jim can advance this ball now, no problems. It sure is. Oh, and he breaks. It's a natural break. Didn't 
Oh, he gets the KO, too. <laughs> Shut up, country. Uh, because he had a shot to get, grab the ball and get away with the ghoul. Uh, he did get the ball into a ghoul's hands, but then uh, couldn't quite get him away. Uh, but he was one turn shy of a breakaway to score. It was a good fireball. Maybe one more player would have made it a great fireball. Uh, but I don't, I don't, I, I wouldn't split hairs over the decision to 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 to, to toss that fireball when he did. Yeah, I mean, Arietti, it's hard to it's hard to imagine him not getting this to overtime right now. C'est un super match jusque là. Le rythme s'est un peu ralenti, mais oh, attends Bob, il se passe quelque chose. Oh, c'est tout sauf une bonne idée de finir sa course si près de la ligne de touche. C'est un coup à se faire pousser dans la foule. La dernière fois que c'est arrivé, il a fallu 3 jours pour reconstituer le corps. Jim just being real safe. He's being very smart with this ball. You know, it's so tempting to just get downfield and try and stall out downfield. But, you know, with Undead, you get ahead of yourselves and you're just, you got no one to protect the ball. You end up getting forced to score. Jim being real smart with it, keeping it all the way back there, completely safe. And uh, and really, you know, he's got tons of team around him. Oh, that's a, that's a shame there. Another foul appearance wrecking that block. And look at this, this mummy now. Does he take this 1D? He's going to take it. Oh, and it pays off. Glorious. And so now, some good work being done there for the for the uh for the short term this white is free. I don't think that's going to last. Shawnee flashlights. But uh, Go fuck yeah, yourself. that that line of four warriors was real unfortunate, I think, for for Diamond. Just really not relevant to uh, his defense right now. Oh, and he got a KO too. I totally didn't even totally miss that. KO's the warrior. You can hear art in your head, you absolute shitter. I don't know if Jimmy can hear me or not. I don't know if he's got me muted or not. <laughs> A blockless 1D KOs my warrior. So at this point, Diomed maybe has to start thinking about uh, self-preservation for OT because he is now at risk of getting KO fucked. Uh, but it's, it actually looks like he's going to hang a player out there to die. I think Jim's probably going to want to hit that Palmer, though. Did not base up. Well, wasn't really able to base up the other Mighty Blow. So he can get a Mighty Blow hit in. Unfortunately, the, the Palmer got stunned. Now, the things that can still go wrong for Jim, uh, even if he gets it to overtime, obviously uh, lose, losing the coin flip would suck. Um, there will be... Oh, another KO. It's going to come down to a lot of four pluses for Dio, and that's the player he needs back. Um, the LOS on turn 16, assuming it goes to that for Diomed, uh, are going to be pretty crucial. Jim has a bench of three, though, so it's hard to believe 
that he's not coming into uh, not coming into overtime with a with a numbers advantage, but he's really wrecking him right now. Another foul appearance there, and hey, look at that! I'm behind you guys. The beast finally escorted off the field uh, on the KO. If that beast comes back in in overtime, then just pack it in Why for uh, any and all. Any and all uh, logic and reason and, and uh, player player safety decisions made by uh, this Blood Bowl commission because that would be a disgrace. Jim is not going to try and win this in regular time, new dad. No, no chance in hell. There's too many. There's too many KOs there. Those KOs, half of them come back. Nurgle can score in two, three turns. I mean, Jim would have to score next turn effectively. So, you know, it's tempting, but I don't think Jim, Jim generally isn't that type of player. Yeah, Wayne Fair really has been clutched this game. Really, everything has kind of been going Jim's way, which has got to lead you to believe that something is very much not going to go Jim's way in a few minutes. Jim still does have his bribe, yes. Hasn't really had an opportunity to foul anything because everything he's hit has been KO'd. Well, he might have that chance now. Nope, never mind. <laughs> oh, dear. That's one way to get around a bribe. All right, but that dodge means he can just move the ball up, and that's uh, definitely going to... Uh, get us to uh turn 16 tie and i don't think diamond's doing a one turn and there absolutely won't be a riot so this is going to overtime folks if it doesn't something horrible happens to someone so yeah now now we're gonna see that bribe come out again Oh, he's going to 3D the uh, the warrior. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 3D's the warrior. You love to see it. Does he GFI him back for the assist? He doesn't. Doesn't need to. All right. Well, cautiously optimistic about this game all of a sudden. I'm really curious to see what Dio's team or Diamond's team looks like going into uh, overtime here. <laughs> a third kill, a third kill. Jimmy is just all over him right now. And the bribe is out, but that was what he saved it for. Oh, Look yeah. at that. Oh, God. Oh, man. Did we get the GG the back? Did we get the... Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> did we get the GG back? I missed it if, it, if it came. That's a... That's a choice right there. Hitting Setek over the zombie. Oh, yeah, totally, Tony. Totally. Yeah, this Nurgle team is wrecked. If they if they get past Jimmy in this one, <laughs> whoever, whoever has them in the next round is going to feast. When is the last time you've seen a game? I, I, I don't even want to start talking about this until Jim wins the toss. <laughs> until that ball is safely in his hands in overtime let's not talk about how well this game is going for him
Well, it doesn't matter too much, Pixie Dust, because uh, if the if Nurgle doesn't win this game, that <laughs> this team is never being played again anyway. Little surprised Jim's not still fouling. He's got the bench to do so. And here comes the score. And now it's going to come down to uh, two rounds of KOs and LOS on some zombies. And only two, two Pestigores. And now, uh, yeah, all <laughs> all Diamond's going to get to hit are some, uh, are some zombies from Jim. This would be a classic time for a uh, rock to come ruin Jim's team. Yeah, I thought so too, Pedro. I thought he could have gotten one more foul in on turn 15. Wouldn't obviously not on turn sixteen, but I thought he had one more one more in him on turn fifteen. Yeah, oh yeah. Also good good note there. Jimmy with four re rolls going into overtime. Still really wants to win that toss. <laughs> He'll be he'll be pretty sad if he doesn't win that toss. I guess I should probably watch this from Jim's point of view. Cause you all are. Yeah, and so no matter what, Jim's gonna have eleven for OT. And uh, actually, a mistake by Diomed there, sending his uh, sending his ball carrier back to catch the ball on that high kick. He now he can't blitz, so he's cheated himself of uh, of a hit. Uh, I think I thought you could. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can just hit and turn. Maybe maybe you do have to pick one. Oh, it's not optional. I thought for some reason I thought it was. In that case, that sucks for Dio. That bad luck for him. Not the first time he's had some bad luck in this game though. <laughs> Doesn't re-roll the farming pass. <laughs> All right, what do we got here for the KOs? Only two more. The beast stays out. And again, that beast finally, I'm glad my petitioning to the Blood Bowl Games Commission there, uh, really taking another look at that head trauma on that beast. And yep, so uh, here we go. Diomed has won the toss in OT. He has six players on the pitch to Jim's 11. But, you know, it doesn't take a whole lot to score in Blood Bowl, so we'll see what happens here. Jim doesn't have stand firm on both corners there, so that's likely where it's going to go. But, I mean, we're talking about only three players that are more that are moved six and two that are moved four, so this ain't going to be pretty. At least I guess it's uh, going to be somewhat exciting to watch for the uh, conclusion of this game. <laughs> In fairness, though, New Dad, I don't even think the beast did. And I think the I think it went stupid every single turn that it wasn't KO'd in the second half. I could be maybe I missed one, but.
So I think given the relative speed of everything, uh, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know what Di Diamond can do here. He can try and punch through the middle and kind of cage up, but not really. And then the entire team can swarm him. Or he can go up one sideline and only have to deal with probably four players. But, mm. yeah, that would be a shame, Tom says. If a rock punched a hole, if a rock punched a hole for this uh, team, that would be uh, unfortunate. Uh, new dad, they, uh, he doesn't like the way I, I, th I believe, I don't want to put words into his mouth, but in my experience watching him is, uh, he doesn't like the way they play in, uh, in ladder formats. And, uh, generally speaking, uh, I, I, I agree with that mentality. They're my favorite team too. I don't play them very much, but, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're at a disadvantage a little bit early on. Then they get really good, and then they get not so good when every team's just got a ton of tackle and uh, mighty blow and can take out all their blotch. So they don't do well in playoffs. I don't think I've seen too many amazing runs by Dark Elves in uh, CCL playoffs. Although, in fairness, ADEV, most of, uh, most of his kill teams get banged on more than his agility teams. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this is a uh, wing and a prayer time for Diomed here. He's got to basically just punch a hole, cage up, and then hope he can score the next turn because otherwise it's game over. Here we go. The kick is out. And it's a quick snap. Saves him a square. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, he absolutely should. He probably will, too. I, I got to believe he will. Because now, I mean, in theory, those zombies are not going to be of terrible use to anyone on the, the LOS zombies. It's really just these four players on the right that matter, plus the... Oh, plus that tech and the ghoul. They can actually get over there with some GFIing. Hey, Flicky Flack, how you doing? Calling the game for uh, for Jim today because it was shaping up to be a terrible game for him. Has not gone that way thus far, but he's on defense to start overtime here against six players. Fair enough, but uh, all it takes is one to score <laughs> and ruin a very, very nice game otherwise for Jim. Oh no, I so I don't know I don't know anything about that flicky, but uh right when the stream started up I was like, Hey, if you don't want to talk during it, I'll do you know, I'll call it for you. So I hopped in and did it. I think uh Artemis is also is also streaming it. And uh Diamed, duh, but like, you know, Flicky Flicky Flax a better a better Blood Bowl streamer than me. I just am awesome. People like me. And Jim doesn't really ever say no to me because he fears me walking away from uh, <laughs> the JFW too much. Yeah, yeah, Flicky Flack can meet Skirmetso backstage anytime he wants. I'm sure that'll go well for him. Well, that won't go well for Flicky either. <laughs> I know, I know you. I know you are Flicky. I also am.
It is CCL playoffs, Pixie. Yes, uh, round of sixty-four. So first round of uh, the playoffs for the previous season. <laughs> yeah. Pro- probably. Oh, it looks like my <laughs> fucking replay is frozen again. <laughs> Pardon me, folks. Hopefully nothing exciting happens in the one turn of excitement that uh, <laughs> the diamond's going to even have. There we go. And yeah, Jim Jim doesn't even have to consider counter scoring here. Not that he wouldn't if he could. But with the four re-roll to two advantage right now, I mean, that kicks are all but in his favor. And there's the pass. He flubs it. The re-roll is in. Oh, that one's accurate. And the catch is good. He's got all the pieces in motion right now to make this happen. And here we go. The the 2D, just the push. And now he's just got to go down and I guess uh, eye cage on the sideline is the plan. Maybe not eye cage, maybe just put him behind. Uh, no, he's got to, right? Oh, there's one GFI. I mean, there's absolutely no way to really protect this ball, which he knows. So he's just got to put himself in the best position to be able to wriggle away and score next turn. Absolutely, Adev. I mean, there is no... There is no reason why uh, Jimmy should be sweating this, but also we've all watched Jimmy play this game before. We all know exactly what could happen here. This is a bit of a potato. He's got six players, Tony. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it just takes uh, one fail. Jim can't get that beast, uh, that Pestigore out of uh, out of scoring range. So you know, at worst, he can just click end zone, click you know, click ball, click end zone, and pray. But let's see what's gonna happen here. Jim had this all figured out right off the bat. He's moving quick. Well, you'd have to quad skulls to be fair, new dad. But yeah, definitely could happen. And I mean, look, not to get defeatist here, but if you told Jim he'd have a shot at winning in overtime at the beginning of this game, he'd have felt pretty good about it. Oh, coming in from the backside here with the mummy. And he does get him. And surely... Oh, boy. Oh, no, he's got his ghoul right there. His ghoul can get over, get the ball. And he can double GFI foul. Well, it's not really a great foul, but... Oh, Jimmy moving that mummy up. has got to be considering him for a scoring threat. <laughs> and ball in hand now where does he go oh he's gonna he is gonna double gfi for the plus two plus three foul here because of the uh dirty player and he gets nothing well you had to know this was coming everyone you had to know this was coming everyone there's the skull. Nope, he re-rolls that and gets him down. 
All right, this isn't the most miracle of miracle plays right now, but it's it's up there. There's no way to. Well, let's see. He's a he's a five on the blitz. Six. So he can't. To my knowledge, he can't make this a one D. So I think we're just looking at two reds. Oh, yeah. I guess he can make it a one D. Good call. Good call there. Oh, he makes it. Oh, gosh, a 2D. Whoops. And the tackle. Now, he's not going to be able to score if he can get the ball. <laughs> You're not going to pile on that. And he's one square short if he picks that ball up now. Miraculous scatter for Jim. <laughs> yeah, I would have liked going one more over to a dev. I was thinking that. I think maybe Jim liked the uh, the stat the the like the uh, the if he did if all these dice happened he liked his chances on where the ball could scatter better this way. I don't know. Yeah, absolutely. But, I mean, not not where you want to be as Jim, but at the same time, uh, I mean, what's Diamond really going to do here to get this ball? <laughs> absolutely, Masters, and that could have been game over. Absolutely. That's why you never you never want to have to be in this position. It doesn't matter if you're up five players or not in OT. It doesn't really matter. It only takes a couple to score, even for a slower team like Nurgle. Un ballon par terre est un ballon dangereux. Il faut le récupérer et vite. Ah, parfait. Il a le ballon bien en main. All right, ball back in hand on the edge for Blodge Step. It's going to cage up all around him. And we are into that territory where for Diomed to upset Jim at this point and win it, he's going to have to roll sixes. And frankly, we've never seen anyone beat Jim by rolling sixes, so. And the surf is on. Surf is good. We're down to four players for Diamond. But this is surely this is it at this point. We're just one cage dive away, I believe. Diamond's just got to figure out. So he does have two scoring threats, to be fair, but not really going to matter. He's just got to figure out how he can roll all his dice to try and uh, score here. It looks like the best I can see is uh, bringing this down guy up to cancel those two tackle zones, and then a uh, the ball carrier makes the 3 plus, 4 plus, 3 plus, Six plus two plus two plus <laughs> should be fun. Oh, it looks like there was a discussion about the GG equity <laughs> from Jim. <laughs> In chat there, I just just caught it uh, on my uh, my other screen of his uh, chat. Ça, 
sens la bonne grosse empoignade All right, I think they're doing away with their pleasantries right now to get nope my <laughs> apparently my um my uh, replay is frozen again, but it doesn't really matter at this point. Jim is going to go on and win this game, I think, folks, and that is something. <laughs> Does Jim have anyone worth scoring on? I don't think we're going to see any of those shenanigans. Try and score on... Uh, no. Nah, there's no one worth trying to score on. Yeah, I mean, what can you really do at this point, Famer? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, is he going to try and get the pass, too, is the real question. I guess he's got three re-rolls, so he might as well try and farm a pass with him. Oh, yeah, Diamond trying to preserve his, his one good player that's remaining. Not for any particular reason, I don't think. Yeah, he's got to farm a pass and score on him, though. Oh, and more, well, more than that, he's at 10 out of 16. Never mind. I thought he was at 13. No, I'm back. I'm back in, Bezel. Uh, I don't, I, I, I don't, I, the draw only happened not that long ago, right? Last weekend. So I don't know if all those games have been played yet. So I don't know what's uh, in store for Jim yet. Someone in chat may know. All right, and some respect fouls coming. <laughs> Mama B, Jesus. Yeah. And that's going to do it. Jimmy Fantastic has won in overtime. Two to one. Tony plays poorly, punches it in. Congratulations, Jimmy Fantastic. Commiserations, Diamond, for the absolute dicing. But Jim, uh, you know, he was due one of those games, and he finally got one, and it couldn't have happened at a better time. He came into this expecting to give up in four turns, but he didn't give up sometimes. He put in his 85% effort, and he wins it outright. Good job, Jim. Let's throw it back over to you now. Oh yeah, glorious! Thank you very Fantastic much, Gorilla. Shit at this game. Thanks every, thanks very much, everybody in chat. <laughs> that was what an a absolute glorious dice, win. Wasn't it? Maybe I was a bit, you know, a bit early on the trigger with the wizard, um, but I thought it, it still disrupted his drive, didn't it? You know, like I thought, if I'm making him fight for the ball, he's not just blitzing. I bet he's just not hunting players down with corp on. So even though it didn't work, even though it just didn't do anything, like it didn't stop his drive, did it? But it, yeah, did, you were... it did reduce the attrition, like indirectly, didn't it? So yeah, you were like one or two rolls away from getting away with that ball. So like, I, I think that's 
that's a trade anyone down 500 TV would probably take at that point. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. Corporal Carrot is that. Thank you very much. Yeah, and the wizard nearly worked. Like, it, it nearly could have worked like the wizard. It was a bit hasty, I do think. I think it was a bit hasty, but I was Glorious. obviously pretty desperate. I didn't know. Glorious, thank you very much. Uh, hold the keep. Yeah, I, I, I was aware that it was a bit early, but I thought... I didn't know I was going to dice him, did I? So I thought... <laughs> I think I think I don't think the the wizard came as prematurely as the GG did. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we know. I had I to saw do the GG you admitted, for, you admitted you did that for a laugh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had to do that. I had to do the GG, but um, obviously, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't work. Didn't work good, did it? The GFI failed, then the ugly failed, then the skull. <laughs> that was pretty unlucky because all those two plus rolls could have like gone well, and then. You know, yeah. maybe he's got the ball loose, and and maybe he's gone one up on his drive. So you know, it, just because it didn't turn out, doesn't didn't just because it didn't work out, doesn't mean it was wrong. The wizard, but I, it could have been a bit hasty. I How about that beast in the concussion protocol? It's KO in the first <laughs> half, comes back out, and then I I believe it never passed another very stupid roll until getting KO'd again. Yeah, it was amazing, wasn't it? It was unbelievable. <laughs> Really oh, stupid. And they were all two pluses. <laughs> and he <Yeah>. <laughs> three succeeded four. <laughs> That's horrendous. What were the block dice like? 31, 34, 23 for him. And then 26, 27, 33. So yeah, just incredible dice and, and terrible dice. As, you know, which is kind of what you need to win this match. It was a super hard matchup, wasn't it? So, uh... His armor and injury <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was a, it was an absolute dice. Yeah, not to mention all of the armor breaks and everything. Like he finally made a cat on about turn thirteen or something, didn't he? It was just yeah. it was crazy. It was absolutely crazy. Um, <laughs> Chug man milk. <laughs> didn't do coke in the eighties. Actually, I wasn't I wasn't that young. <laughs> um, so I mean, I'm not that old. Whatever. <laughs> You're doing it when you're four. <laughs> Incriminating myself there. <laughs> anyway, thank you. Yeah, no, I, I knew it wasn't a lost cause. Like, I, I, I wasn't giving up. I was, you know, I never give up. I just, I'm honest in my assessments, and I knew it was going to be really hard, right? I knew it was going to be really hard. Um, right. And as it was, I diced, I diced the living shit out of him, didn't I? So it's like... <laughs> um, yeah, obviously, it could have been a dicing. Even if it hadn't been a dicing... You know, had the reserves, and he didn't really have many reserves. So even if it hadn't been a complete dicing, I was I was kind of confident because obviously you get the double rolls if you if you cast a rotter, you get the double chance to kill him. So like, there's chance of getting an extra. There is the chance of getting an extra reserve there. Obviously, Setek was another player. I bought another zombie as well, so I had loads of players. And uh, so okay, I didn't have much. I didn't have much quality to remove anyway. <laughs> but obviously, if if he if he removed the quality, it gets a lot worse. But at least I had numbers on my side. Um, yeah, absolutely. So yeah, there you go. Right, thank you very much, uh, Skuro Gorilla, whatever your name is. <laughs> <laughs> and no, uh, not a problem at all. I'll see you all in two hours for Friday. Stand firm. Oh yeah, and uh, thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.